Satru Gojo, a man whose birth alone changed the balance of the world, where he alone was the reason why many cursed spirits went in hiding, because they were too afraid of even confronting him. And when the man who changed the balance of the world gets healed, let me tell you, it's not good. Many, and I mean many people died in the Shibuya incident arc out of those many people were the people who Gojo loved and cared about. And the sole reason they died was because Satoru Gojo was sealed away. Now, that made me wonder, what if Gojo wasn't sealed away? How would that change the story of Jujutsu Kaisen? And today we are here to talk about that exactly. But before we do talk about what would have happened if Gojo wasn't sealed, please like and subscribe to the channel if you want more JJK content. So let's start the video. The first thing we need to establish is how would Gojo avoid to get sealed in the first place. Well, there are two ways that Gojo could avoid this. First is, Gojo doesn't care and instead of expanding his domain for 0.1 second, he fully expands infinite void and will kills everyone. That includes innocent people and more importantly, Maito, Chozo, and Jogo. They all will die and how did I come up with to this conclusion? You see, Gojo was ready to accept some sacrifices if it meant killing the cursed spirit. Thus, in case the sacrifice would be huge, Gojo would definitely need therapy after this, but that's beside the point. The second possibility, as soon as Gojo sees the prison room and uses his egg size, he would immediately know that this is bad news, and well, he would just dip out of there, even before Kenjaku gets the chance to seal him away. Now let me tell you, if Gojo walks away from the prison room exactly more than 100 meters, that's GG's for everyone, and I mean GG's for Jogo, Maito, Chozo, who still haven't woken up from Infinite Void, and if that is not good for Kenjaku, because as soon as Gojo realizes that man in front of him is not Ghetto, let me tell you, it's game over for Kenjaku. But I mean, like, Kenjaku is, you know, kind of sneaky, and by using Uzumaki, like he did in the original story, Gojo will be in the back foot and would have to protect the civilians from the cursed spirit, but not without getting a decent part of his body blown away by Gojo's hollow purple or red uh, that Kenjaku would escape. And as for Jogo, Hanami, and uh, Chozo, well, you see, you can say goodbye to them because Gojo isn't letting them escape. Since I love my boy, Gojo, I don't want him to go to therapy, we'll go with the second possibility in which Gojo sees the prison room and walks out of its needed radius to seal him away. Now what would happen? You see, Kenjaku would still have 10 sequinal fingers, and I do think his next objective would be to go after Yuji and feed him the fingers. And if that happens, 15 finger Sukuna versus Gojo would without a doubt happen. And since Gojo is more than capable of fighting fighting with 20 finger Sukuna, Gojo would defeat Sukuna, especially since Sukuna doesn't have the means to outright bypass infinity. And his domain in this case would be weaker than Gojo's because Gojo's and Sukuna's domain were equal, at least inside the domain. Since Gojo's domain is almost equal to Sukuna's at full strength, at finger 15 finger Sukuna won't be able to do much. And we might also get to see Gojo versus Toji round 2, with the obvious winner being gonna be Gojo. And now there's gonna be manga spoilers ahead of this video. So, just in case, you have been warned. Now, regardless of Gojo being sealed or not, Kenzaku's goal wouldn't change, and that is to get Maito's curse technique, Ideal Transfiguration. And since Sukuna going down is his only option, he would hope to revive the sorcerers from the past just like he did in the original series, but even with Gojo around, the Colin games would still go down anyways. And uh, let's just be honest, Gojo and Yuta by themselves would be more than enough to wipe out entire Colin game. Oh, and did I mention that Kenjaku would never get near Master Tengen since Gojo would probably be the one that would be given the job to guard Master Tengen in the first place, meaning Kenjaku's plan would have gone down the drain as the entire mission uh, would be to revive Sakuna and get a role of Gojo since Gojo is the biggest hurdle in his way. So 
So I do think that Sukuna would take oh, control over Megumi's body once he sees Yoroju take control over Megumi's sister's body like he did in the original series. And this time, he will escape as soon as possible since Megumi is uh, lowering his output. And after escaping, Sukuna would meet up with Kenjaku. But before they do, I think Gojo would confront Sukuna and the battle of the strongest would begin. But as soon as Gojo with the Sukuna would start their battle, and Kenjaku would have other plans. He would go to confront Tengen and absorb him. This time, since Gojo is occupied, I do think that he will get through. Yuki versus Kenjaku or Yuta, either any one of those, depending on who course Tengen's, would engage him and lose. I know what you guys are thinking. Bro, Yuta would have defeated Kenjaku like he defeated uh, in him in the original series. And sorry to my Yuta fans out there, but Yuta would have lost. If you want me to make a video on that, comment down below. But let's get to the main topic. But now, getting to the point, Kenjaku would have to make his moves quick. So most probably, the thing that he would do is absorb Sukuna, start his plans, and since Sukuna, who is at 15 fingers worth of power, would have lost to Gojo, and Kenjaku would have the perfect opportunity to absorb Sukuna, but there's the thing. We really don't know how worn out Gojo would be after this battle with Sukuna, because if Gojo isn't too worn out, he can take Kenjaku on and kill him right then and there. But if Gojo is in a bad condition, and then Kenjaku might absorb Sukuna and kill Gojo, and begin his plan of making the you know the fucking night of cursed spirit of like one million humans or something. But then again, who am I? I'm just a guy who spends hours researching on anime and manga, and I'm no one to say what could have happened, but you guys are more than qualified to say what could have happened. So comment down below, what do you think could have happened? Would Kenjaku's plans be, have been completed, or would have Gojo stopped Kenjaku? Comment down below, and while you're down there, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Man, that still doesn't change the fact that Gojo is dead.